Well, Kenny, you trekked likely to give you one of your toughest tests yet. Yeah, I think so. On a hot day, you're looking at the, their background, um, where they finished last year, the overall profile of the club. It's a great game for us, uh, our penultimate game before we start against Luton, and a chance for us to, to play on Fratton Park as well, which you know I think is an advantage as we have, included in the cup games, three of our first four uh, games at home. So l looking forward to Saturday, and as you say, uh, high test for us. Just going back, talking about tough opposition, you must have been pleased with the way the, the lads equipped themselves against Brighton, because it was a strong Brighton side. Yeah, it was. Pre-season is pre-season, obviously, but it was a good game for us. And behind closed doors against you know, such a good team, as you say, was a very good workout, and uh, we got a lot out of it. Uh, and and I, I would expect Saturday to be the same. Uh, the big advantage of Saturday, obviously, is that uh, it gives us one home game uh, on Fratton Park before we start, and that's uh, going to be a major advantage. Is that, is that really important to you, that you had one game on there at least? Yeah, definitely, and um, uh, we have a few new signings, as, as everybody knows, and for them to uh, uh, bed into the squad, as they have done throughout pre-season, bedded in very well, but also you know, to, to be able to, to turn up and play at Fratton Park, be a good atmosphere, and as you say, the, the, the standard of the opposition will be high. Tuesday was a pretty good day all round for the likes of Adam May. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, I know, you know the players did very well. And congratulations to them lads who, who played sort of some part in the Tuesday morning session, and then played at Bognor because, you know, quite frankly, they needed the minutes. And and um, you know, we ended up then on Tuesday night with a, a good mix. And pre-season is very good to to look at. Uh, obviously, number one is your squad and the first team squad. It is always number one. And integration of new players, the development of the of the team as you you go towards the start of the season. That's number one. But then. Number two behind that, if you can integrate some young players with some senior ones in some of the games, um, if, if your younger players can play against men, uh, that's always a good thing, good indication for you to see uh, what type of season they're going to have. So from that point of view, pleased with the players' attitudes and um, uh, their application on Tuesday, but uh, uh, good insights for, for myself as a manager and for the coaching staff to see uh, where, where we can use these young players throughout the season. Bonus for you today is you've got Donahue and Close back out there. Yeah, uh, Ben Close is, you know, be looking for some some game time now by the end of the week, which is good, you know, very good. Uh, and uh, he's worked hard. Donahue's a little bit behind, still feeling, you know, quite weak. He'll only do sort of parts of sessions really and uh, see how his next 10 days goes, uh, you know, how, how, how he recovers really and how tired he gets after what he's had. What are you looking for then on Saturday? Because it's your last real chance before the the real stuff starts. Of course, you always want to win. Um, that's that should be the case. But you know, looking for our, our pattern, looking for us to get uh, uh, match ready and confident if we can as we go into the Luton game. Does the manager? On Monday, breathe a sigh of relief that the pre-season is out the way, and then you can get on with business. No, I always enjoy pre-season. It's a great, it's a great uh, period, and um, no, it's something I, I do enjoy. I, I understand it's, you know, perhaps the weather and the optimism around, and a few new signings. But uh, no, pre-season is a great period, and work-wise, it's a. If you can get your squad together, it's a, it's a vital one, and um, one that can underpin a successful season. So uh, enjoyed pre-season so far. Uh, of course, you're always working towards. Um, uh, reducing the injuries you have to and to some degree uh, um, no matter what anybody says you're crossing your fingers as well but um, you know we've worked hard in pre-season very hard and we've had a lot of games there's been a, you know a, a, a lot of matches to, to make sure people are not just physically fit but match fit and um, that's the purpose of it. Have you ever known a pre-season like this in this country when the weather's been so consistently surreal? Um, it's certainly a, you know been a a long time since that and and you know re recent years been disrupted by heavy rain quite often I'd much prefer it like this where we we know where we are and um, we've had to modify it today we have to 100% just modify it a little bit because of the heat and the week that the players have had but uh, but that's okay and um, yes yes it is hot but you know it's it's good and and if you're looking at August 4th I'm sure it'll be hot on that particular day so at least we'll be used to it yeah, the point I make is that you're not going to face this, certainly, m most of the season. 
No, and it's, it varies, doesn't it? But, you know, for the opening part of the season, it will be like this. And that's all we're concentrating on now. And can we assume that your team that plays on Saturday won't be too far away from the one that opens against Luton? No, definitely. It's just, you know, f- following a pattern through pre-season is, is something that you can do, definitely. And um, wh- while, you know, I'm always looking at the big picture, i.e. trying to get, you know, somewhere between 20 and 25 players as strong as possible because, obviously, it is, you know, it's a 10-month period and the, the transfer window closes. So, you know, there's that, there is that big picture, but, you know, working towards the first game, which is at the moment the most important thing you have to have some uh, you know coordination back four working together centre halves working uh, combinations up front uh, to try to integrate